What's going on YouTube? And today I'm bringing you another speed art video of Warner Brothers chance of making some Looney Tunes superheroes the Lunatics Unleash. Um, let me go down the roll call list before I give you my my feelings on them. We have Techie Coyote, we have Slam Tasmanian, Ace Bunny, Rev Runner, Lexi Bunny, and Danger Duck. First of all, I would have left out Lola, Lo Lo well, she's really supposed to be Lola Bunny, but I would have left out Lexi Bunny, or I would have picked somebody else, but hey, that's just me. I would have liked to see them take Tweety Bird and made him a... Uh, a superhero or S Sylvester the cat or even um who else was a big role in or Elmer Fudd I mean but um or Marvin the Martian hey but they took the most I guess they called them the most popular I didn't know Lola was that popular I really didn't care for Lola she had her place in Space Jam and that was about it for me to be honest I'm not even a fan of the new Looney, the Looney Tunes show. I'm just not a fan of it. It looks weird to me. Some things you just need to leave the way it is. And Looney Tunes, original Looney Tunes, should have been left like that and not remade. They should just replay the old versions a lot like they do now. But, um, come to find out, well, Techie Coyote is Wally Coyote. Ace Bunny is, of course, Bugs Bunny. Slam Tasmanian is actually Tasmanian Devil. Danger Duck is Daffy Duck. Rev Runner is the Road Runner. And Luxury Bunny is Lolo Bunny. But um, to be honest, um, a lot of people did not like this cartoon. Just because they thought it was weird. And, it, and I have to disagree. This was actually a well done cartoon, to be honest. I mean, yeah, some people with a nostalgic bone and how they are, they might not. They might, they feel the same way about this cartoon as I feel about the Looney Tunes show. But it was well done. A lot of people really, a lot of people did like this cartoon though. Only, my only problem with it is that they gave Rev Runner, which was Road Runner, they actually gave him a voice. Like, you actually hear him talk. Like, Tasmania. Taz, you always hear him, you know, speaking gibberish. You don't understand really what he's saying out of his mouth. And he did the same thing on this cartoon. Like, I would have liked to have him hear him have a voice. I mean, Wally Coyote or, or Techie Coyote, I would, I could expect him having a voice because in the original Looney Tunes cartoon, he did have a voice. So... Yeah, but yeah. but um, Ace is Bugs, basically Bugs Bunny. He's still as smart. He's still sarcastic as ever. Um, Rev Runner is still fast. Techie Coyote is always messing with some gadgets that blow up in his face, and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. Danger Duck. Or AKA Daffy Duck, he's still the same smug asshole, or like, or very, very sarcastic too. He's still, still Daffy Duck, still jealous of, of Ace or Bug Money, um, Slam, or Slam or Taz, whatever you want to call him. He's still the same. He's slamming shit, world winning it up, tornado style. Smashing shit. He's basically the record. If I could, I can um reference Slam into the reference of the records from Transformers, how they fuck shit up. That's what Slam basically is. He is the muscle man of the group. Um, everybody has their place in this league of Looney Tune heroes, but like I said, I would like to see. I would like. As a season when I would have liked to see add new members, but hey, what can you do? That's just a dream of yours that you would have. I just see. I would have liked to see a um, 
what they could have did with Pepe Le Pew or, like I said, Sylvester the Cat or um, who else? I can't even think of any of them. Uh, Tweety Bird. I would like to see what they could have did with them. But um, it was a good cartoon. I actually liked it. I didn't have a problem with it. It's just that some people just... I don't know why they didn't like it. It was one of those filling cartoons, like, in, in between of other cartoons that you were watching at the time. But you've grown to love the cartoon. If you actually sit down and watch the cartoon, the storylines that they have are very strong. And it's like they have... It was a very well put together season, to be honest. Um, even the filler episodes were great. They had... Um, this one episode where they just had flashbacks of how they... What they were doing before they had they, before they gained their powers, like Slam was a wrestler, um, Benger Duck was a pool boy, fishing diapers out the pool, Lexi was a gymnast, and Ace was a stunt bunny, stunt rabbit, or whatever you want to call it. Checky Coyote was basically Wally Coyote, just he was working in the lab. He's basically a smart guy out of the group. Uh, Red Runner was a burger delivery boy. Well, he was a fast food delivery guy. So, and like, they'd find they, like, listen to their little origin stories of how, what they were doing before the, the comet hit. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. Like, it was, I'm, like I'm saying, the cartoon was well put together. Warner Brothers really don't, when they put out a property, they really don't mess up on it a lot. But, that the Looney Tunes show, they dropped the ball on that. Some people, I know you got change with the time. They probably did that cartoon so they can grow in a younger audience. But the younger audience would have loved the old cartoons just as much. I I haven't seen the Looney Tunes show lately on Cartoon Network. Maybe they canceled the show. I haven't. Maybe it comes on and I just misses it. But um, yeah, I don't know. This. This drawing right here, um, yeah, note to artists, like, when you're doing drawings with a lot of black like this, and I use Copic markers, but I have a Copic black, but I'd rather use the black Sharpie because you can get more done, and it barely runs out, especially if you have a fresh, fresh one, but take breaks and walk, get some fresh air or crack a window when you draw with a black Sharpie like that because... That shit kicks out a, a smell, and it start. You can get you can get a contact high off of this stuff. I'm not saying go ahead and huff markers. Sit disclaimer, not don't do it. But I'm just saying, artist tip: always take a break in the middle of a draw, refresh your eyes, get some fresh air, clear your na nasal passage, go sniff some like open the window and just stick your head out for a minute and just breathe in some fresh air because I draw six to ten hours a day and smelling markers all day will go fuck with you at the end of the night. But um thanks for watching. Hope you like, share